So we're going to go ahead and find the centroid uh, using MD solids. So we're in MD solids. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and click on section properties. So we get this window that comes up here. Oops. Get this window that comes up. Okay. Okay, so we get this window that comes up. It says section properties module. We can go, now it has simple like rectangle box shape or circle cylinder. We also have flange. So for example, like let's take an I-beam for example. Okay, so we have this I-beam. So let's say that we are, um, you know, you can change the uh, it to inches or to millimeters. Um, so let's say we have, uh, see it's pretty big, right? So we have 12, three, uh, three, nine okay and we're gonna go ahead and compute so once we have these uh, these values in that are met the measurements we go ahead and click compute okay and we uh, MD solids does the calculations for us and so we get our um, centroid here so centroid from bottom to centroid is 7.5 inches from centroid to top 7.5 inches um, okay all right, so there, there is how we, um, so then we click over to the y-axis properties. So this is the z-axis properties, right? And we can let, click over the y-axis properties for the left to centroid and right to centroid. Okay, uh, so that is how you find the centroid in MD solids. Good luck.